Hey everyone, welcome to another Ray's Wave doing things with Loon, where this time I'm going to show you Eris, and why she is so important to have. She is worth every seed. I got her at 4 star, and I evolved her to 6 star, and I did not regret it, because just a few days ago, I got another 6 star from Fusion. So, let's talk about why she's so important, and why you need her. So, her main kit is based off her auto attacks. Yes, auto attacks. And let's talk about her special that enables her to do that. Raging Storm. Takes a form destructive storm to act three turns in a row. While the skill is active, increase attack by 45%. In addition, other skills other than Gale Blade cannot be used. So that's why you want her auto attack leveled as much as possible. I have all her stats max because she's just that good in, in arena and her damage kit is amazing because let's just go talk about Tempest Slash right now. Taxes target Latinus scale strike 15 times dealing a total amount of 700 of each damage including soul damage guys. That's amazing. But what's extremely important to know is her passives and this is the main one light breeze enfolds the battlefield like a light breeze and engulfs a body softly as long as eris is alive increase attack speed of all allies by 10 and grants grants immunity to attack speed down effects all right so this is why she's really uh big for arena you're able to have that first turn almost every fight unless you fight another eris with the team that has faster speed than you. This will give you that slight edge that you will need to be able to push hard. And you know, her other passes are really good too, but I haven't really seen them as much because you know, they don't really get a chance to use reflect damage for Eris because yeah, she's just not really used for that aspect. Um, Piercing Wind is really great too. It's against uh, Fahrenheit, for example. Every attack deals 100% additional damage to enemies with a barrier safeguard. And against Stella, oh, it's amazing. All right, so let's uh, talk about gear and what gear she excels at. Because um, probably people put her in spirit, and I just want to tell them that they're wrong for doing so, and here is why. We're upset. Not only you gain souls every even number of turn, you gain it when you're using your special and you're able to attack three times in a row. And what that also does is for the 6P set, gain 15% at the beginning of every even numbered turn. So the way this works is she activates her special, she gets a go again. and that first auto attack is that 15% extra damage from Corrupt Set alone. Then she has a regular attack that has no damage, and then her third attack has an extra 15% attack again. And that's why Corrupt Set is so big on her, not only because it's the highest level gear you can get at level 75, but because of that 6P set. And I'm going to show you why and why I would use her. And let's just, for example, we're going to um, use her as a farmer, for example. And we're going to go on Act 3, Stage 1, Hard. And before, on my earlier videos, you saw me use Weiwei with Balder, but now that Weiwei's passive got uh, reduced to 2 instead of 3 mana when they take a turn, you I can't utilize Balder's AoE effect anymore. So I had to change it up a bit, and this is where I found Eris, and you will see right now why she is so big. You don't even need Weiwei, and this is going to change farming for everybody once they actually realize. She's just able to one-shot just each ad because they're just only have 18, 19k, and it's just that fast. And none of the backline dies. 
you gain a total of uh, 1800 you know and you know 3600 with double xp and so on and she's just helps speeds up things so much especially for bosses too and we will show you right now boss battle let's do proto because proto is a, a good one to do show her off and let's uh let's see who should we use why is her we should probably use okay because she is a magic damage and that's that's just how cool she is she's able to pair with baron j who you get free for the event and if you've seen my other video of why you want to keep baron j as well it this is this is another reason Let's just uh, cheese this real quick and uh... here. <laughs> ah, yes, yes, yes. I remember now. Reina. I'll show you later why Reina has all my gear. Okay. This is just an easy equip. You know, I don't have to worry about it. It's just set. You know. All right, so this this is gonna show you how much damage she can do, and we're gonna use Chloe as a uh, counter partner because she's my da most damage healer unit, and we're gonna compare. And as I said, she is magic damage. So uh, if you pair with uh, Baron J, Caroline, uh, Slimes, uh, you'll be able to actually do a lot of damage. So, and a shield just for just in case. Right, we got this done off. Hey, look, we even get an extra turn, which we're not going to use. Not going to use that as well. And we're going to use this. Because we want the most damage we can do. Just going to, um... Just gonna auto attack. 19k just with our auto attack. Alright, we're gonna just uh, auto attack as well. And we're gonna bird cage. Because bird cage is gonna do a weakening resist for magic de defense. And let's see how much it does. Ah, 9471. Nice. You did a lot of damage. Now we could actually, uh, you know, just go to town because she does a lot of damage. All right, we're just gonna show you the ult real quick. 76k, pretty good. It's not bad. All right, we got the restun in, and we're gonna pop a Stella so we could get the uh, three turns shield. Mind you, my whole entire team's magic damage, so. And this is her three auto attacks are just amazing. 33k. 32k. And now without buffs, 20k. 60k for Chloe. Like I said, she's she's my main damage dealer, so. She's gonna do some mad deeps. Get the uh damage back up and we'll just finish it off and uh, let's see it's gonna be out let's see if we can get this 66k with only just uh, wayways buff swap around I will hit hit once Twice, actually, yeah. But she, her kit's mainly autos, and it just speeds things up so fast. I and mean, honestly, I could probably just auto it um, if I really wanted to. And as you can see, she does quite a bit of damage um, by herself. 
Like, I don't even need Chloe. I don't even need um, Stella probably either. Uh, they're just safe, just in case Chloe doesn't stun or uh, paralyze. Um, but all I probably need Chloe for is the paralyze and that. Uh, let's uh, check out PvP because uh, she's also extremely used there too. Just gonna swap off the gear again. gonna equip this so it's not gonna get there we go full six full okay and let's go against this guy I think I think it'll be a pretty good fight and I'm just showing you the capacity of her kit and her passive. Because most likely she's gonna get taunted right now. Yeah, as you can see, she's just taunted. But the thing is, um all right, let's let's show for example Chloe. There Chloe. Plus two, one twenty four attack speed. Let's just show the Arslan. One twenty eight, yeah, so they're they're a pretty slow team. Um, but look at how fast my Reina is because of that passive. My Reina is always going to go first. And as long as she's not taunted, and she'll, she'll be able to get that. Yeah! Goals. I really hate this way. Wow. Not surprised that I'm getting screwed over right now. Alright, let's just uh, swap with Chloe. And we're just gonna. Um, She's still taunted. All right, now she's not gonna be taunted next turn, which is amazing. Just so slow, you know. Now, it's actually uh, do some damage. One hit. It, oh wow, that heals. The Fahrenheit's pretty uh pretty beefy. Swap again. Rip. MVP freaking, uh, they're way, way. How much damage or, uh, healing they're preventing. All right. Now he's dead, now we just finish him off with uh, Chloe. We'll just heal it up. Okay. And we won, just based off of time. 
but yeah, uh, she's a really great uh, arena. Uh, able to give your whole entire team 10 extra speed is just amazing. And um, yeah, I hope the newer players keep her at 4 star and just level her up to 6 star. It's going to help you guys so much. Uh, and as I said, just level up her auto attacks and her special too. And you'll be pretty much good for a while. And um, yeah, feel free to like, subscribe, and uh, share this video so people can get the word out on Eris.